right, Conrad, is nuclear power green? Certainly not. There's a problem called radioactive waste, and radioactive waste is dangerous for up to 500,000 years, for example, for plutonium. And if you stand three feet away for 10 seconds, it can kill you. It'll take about two weeks. You'll die from radiation sickness, but it's not green. Radioactive waste is not green. Nuclear power is not green. Okay, and can wind power replace nuclear power? Well, the United States, it turns out, many of, many of us don't know it, but the United States has been called the Persian Gulf of wind because we have so much wind power potential. The Dakotas, North Dakota, South Dakota, can supply two-thirds of all the electricity in the United States, and Texas can uh, provide the other third. And Germany, for example, which is the leader in wind power and energy all over the world right now, they're, they're doing solar, and they have 20,000 megawatts of, of uh, wind power now, and they have 24 nuclear plants. So they're phasing out the nuclear plants because they don't want to worry about them anymore. And they're putting about 1,000 megawatts of wind power online every year, and every nuclear plant is equal to about 1,000 megawatts of power. Wow, okay. And what is this about Italy wanting to ship 20,000 tons of its radioactive waste to the USA? Well, the problem is the United States wants to push nuclear power now, and one of the things we want to do is we want to take some of the waste promote nuclear power all over the world, and this wastes 20,000 tons of it. It's all of the low-level waste from Italy, and most of their intermediate waste, and uh, it's going to have to get to the United States somehow. It can eventually get into the water tables. It's going to go to Tennessee. That's the funnel right now for nuclear waste to come into the country. And um, it could, it's, it's been approved. Licenses are actually existing now in five landfills for that waste to be re classified and possibly actually go into the what, into the landfills. And this is not a good thing. Not a good thing. But we can do something about it. What can we do? Well, you can go to my website and you can Which is what? Press to the wave dot com. Okay. And what and we can it? see and you can go to the information about this action with Italy and you can uh, also call your your congressman, two oh two 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 four three one uh oh, is that an actual phone number of somebody or is it the main line? That's the main line, and okay. you can get your both your senators and your House of Representatives person. You just ask for them, and you tell them what state you're in, and you can call and voice your opinion. And something uh, they'll they'll if you live in the state, they'll send you a letter, and they'll take note of what you have done because you made a phone call. And is that something that we can do as Americans to catch up with, say, Germany and the rest of the EU, and what? Yes, because once we once we we slow down nuclear power, we stop Italy's trying to get the wastes into the country. Which I once it's 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 fought, it's not going to happen. It's, we already defeated this once in 1990 when uh, actually I was involved with uh, I did a show on NPR. We got somebody on the Today Show. We talked to Dan Rather. We got a whole sequence and the the dumping of radioactive waste into the dumps unmonitored was stopped in 1990. But now they're trying to do it again. In other words, in the United States, we have 18% of our uh, electricity is generated by nuclear. Denmark, 20% of their electricity is already uh, produced by wind power. Mm -hmm. And uh, the EU has designated by 2020 that 20% of their electricity will be generated by renewables, mostly wind and solar. Sounds interesting. I thank you for being here. Thank you for having me.